So in our last video, we were talking about tritones or flat fives, and now we're going to talk about tritone substitution. Tritone substitution. Um, so first, let's start out with our circle of fours and fifths again. I'll just quickly draw this. talk about what, what this is all about. So in the last video we discussed um, you know, moving, oops, moving across um, from C to G flat here or F sharp and, and moving across the other way that these are both flat fives or tritone. Okay, so if you haven't um, watched uh, the videos on what a 251 is, you might um, go back and watch those before we discuss this. So if we are talking about um, a 251 in the key of C, it would look like this. It would look like D minor 7, G7 to C. C major 7. Hopefully I'm not standing in front of the camera. Um, and the chords would look like this, D, F, A, C, G, B, D, F, and C, E, G, and B. Okay, so let's listen to that 2-5 really, that 2-5-1 really quick. So you've got um, D minor 7 to G7 to C major 7. Listen to it again. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to erase this C major 7 chord over here and write it again so we can kind of create a little bit of space here. C major 7. And now we're going to discuss what tritone substitution is. Okay, so we're going to be talking about this dominant 7th chord. So with this 2-5-1, that's what we have right now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this G dominant 7th chord uh, with its tritone of D flat. So instead of G7, we're going to play a D flat dominant 7. Okay? So what are the notes for D flat dominant 7? We've got D flat, F, A flat, and C flat, or B. So instead of this G7, we're going to play this D flat 7. So let's listen to, now we're going to listen to the chords as they move through the 2 5 1. But we're going to listen to the D flat 7 instead of the G7. So here we go. So you've got D minor 7. To D flat seven to C major seven. So if you look at what's going on here, you've got this, you've got this descending motion of the chords move descending in half steps. So you've got this D seven, it goes down, you know, a half step in its motion to D flat, and then it goes down another half step to C. See that motion? D, D flat, C, you know? And listen to it again as it 
as the, the descending kind of motion. So this is a real nice, this is a real nice way to um, kind of change up your two fives. So sometimes what we call this in kind of jazz terms is sub five. Sub five. Sub five seven. Because it's still a dominant chord, so you still have that flat seven. Um, but it's a substitution, it's tritone substitution, D flat for um, for, for G7. And then let's look at these notes as they relate to um, G7. So if we were to play G7, you've got this D flat, which would be sharp 11 or, or flat 5. You've got F, which is already in the chord, that's the flat 7. You've got A flat, which would be the flat nine. And then you've got this C flat or B, which is right there, which is the third. So if you play this D flat seven, you've got all these really interesting um, um, additions to the chord. Um, so these are the extensions of the chord, um, flat nine and flat five, very, very good. So let's just play G seven it already has the third and the flat seven in there because they're right they're right there and those are the or sorry you know B and F are in both of these chords and those are those are you know the you know main notes of the chord the third and the seven they define what the chord is right so but then you've got this flat nine and the flat five so let's play G seven with the flat nine and the flat five. So it would sound like this. You got G, B, D flat, and A flat. And there's the F. So you've got, let's listen to it in the in context of the 2-5, of the 251. Right? That's D minor. Here's G7 flat 5, flat 9. To C major. It's very hip. So, um, just to summarize uh, this whole thing, just know that you can go for your two fives, you can go D minor, G7 to C. Just understand that you can always take this dominant seven and take its flat five. Um, and make that a D flat dominant. Very hip for uh, composition or improvisation, or just kind of trying to bend your ear to hear uh, some different possibilities of the harmony. So hopefully this all made sense to you. Um, thanks for watching, and feel free to. Uh, email me um, with comments or questions.